What's up everybody, it's the Goal 60 here for Monday, May the 28th, 2019. So yesterday we uh, we started off a few series, we split those one and one on the RPI. We had the potential revenge play that didn't make it because of price in game one that actually became a double header because it was Cincinnati and uh, Pittsburgh. And uh, we turned around, cashed on the double header play later that evening. And we had some over-unders, and honestly, the over-unders didn't do as well. But looking for a bounce back day today, we only have one of those going official. And uh, we did pick up some things today, and we'll talk about those right after this. All right, so like I said, uh, the Yankees did cash for us yesterday on the RPI. And then we turned around. We had Texas going late last night, and they come up short. I believe they lost 6-2. to two. Today they go off as a underdog, and we're looking at the, at the run line, which is priced at minus 140. So looking to bounce back there. Uh, the as far as the unofficials yesterday on the RPI system, they did very well. They went four and one. Um, just had one that's continuing today with Arizona and Colorado. Looking at Arizona there in the second game. Now we did pick up one official play today, and it's in the San Francisco and Miami series. Uh, San Francisco is at .486. Miami's in the bottom three at point four four nine. You look at the price, and actually San Francisco is shaded to being the underdog. It's somewhere around minus 105. You may see it as close as plus 100, something like that right now. Um, I really hope that the Giants can get it done and get us a game one victory here against the Marlins. Uh, we did have one other series that was starting up St. Louis and, Pitts and Philly, but they didn't make it due to RPI. Now, that's everything on the RPI system. We'll talk about the over-under stuff. All right, so like I said, we do have everything going from yesterday on the over-unders. We did pick up one game today. We only have the one official game going for us, and that is in the uh, Tigers and uh, Orioles. And yesterday, it looked like it was going to happen. We um, In the first six innings, they scored seven, and they only needed two to tie and three to win. Ended up only scoring one more run the entire length of the game, and uh, come up a little short for us. But today, we're looking at taking the over once again. And it is over eight and a half. So hopefully they can get the bats going today and get us a victory. The other three from yesterday are still going as unofficials. They are all unders. And we did pick up an under today. So another unofficial. So New York Mets and the Dodgers under eight is what we need in that second game. Cleveland, Boston under nine and a half in that one. And then the Toronto and Tampa Bay game, we don't have a line just yet. And then we picked up St. Louis and Philly. St. Louis is uh, minus 0.13. Philly is minus 0.04. That's a total of negative 0.17. And they're looking to take the under there, under 10 in that first game. So those are all unofficials for the unders. Talked to uh, David last night. We've thrown around a couple ideas. We're going to continue to look for any kind of, uh, you know, something that sticks out, shows that the unders will start coming in or, Maybe to even stay away from an over or something like that. Just some kind of sign of what's going on. It's, it's uh, you know, we've talked about this many times before on this channel as far as the fact that the home runs are up, the, you know, even doubles and triples are up. And it's just so the, the balls are flying a lot further. They're, you know, you combination of, I guess, your batters are probably getting a lot better. Or I wouldn't say a lot better, but getting better. Uh, Maybe pitching is getting a little bit worse. I don't know. But anyways, we're getting a lot more runs than usual. And so we'll see. We continue to monitor that. That's why I said all these unders are unofficial. Just because we're just watching them right now, it's just too risky for them. Uh, hoping that these this over can cash for us on Detroit and Baltimore. And we can move on from that. And hopefully, eventually, we can get on both sides where we're starting to play unders and overs. If some of these signals start showing and um, we can start heading back on again. So that's all I've got today. I appreciate you watching um, this video and taking your time to do so. Hope you had a great Memorial Day weekend. Have a great Tuesday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. 60% of the time, it works every time.